Hi, you're watching a Heal in Motion YouTube video. And I'm doing this in place of my Tuesday class. I'll be on a little bit of a holiday, so I thought I'd fill them in with some exercises beforehand, um, but hopefully everyone will enjoy this. It is going to be a metabolic workout. We're gonna do about 15 minutes, um, two minutes warm up in the beginning. And uh, there are lots of different ways to do it, so I'll try to do a few variants. Because it's five exercises that are repeated over four times, you can always change up how you're doing it. So at the beginning, if you just kind of want to take it easy, you can do that. If you found that you were working too hard at the beginning, then during the last few rounds, maybe you want to make it a little easier for yourself and take one of the variable uh, forms of the exercise. Okay, I'm going to get started. So we're going to warm up. I'm going to put this music off. Just with a little bit of swinging. We're gonna do some swinging, we're gonna do some squats, and we're gonna do some downward dog to plank. The downward dog to plank doesn't have to be on the floor like I'll be doing it. You can do it on a kitchen counter or even a wall. And some squats. Notice I'm nice and wide, keeping my chest up high, belly buttons pulled in. It's not the same as my wide ones like this. It kind of goes out and All right, let's try a little downward dog to plank. So you're getting down to the floor, find your plank, downward dog, and plank. And again, this can be done on a kitchen counter, using a chair, or using the wall. Make sure you tighten your core so when you get to your plank, you feel that's nice and strong, and then you stretch your shoulders. All right, back up, and swing. Belly button's pulled in. I'm not just swinging to loosen up, I'm swinging to tighten my core and wake everything up. All right, let's do some wide squats. Really get yourself down as low as you feel comfortable, tightening your core again. That way you can stretch those legs out for what's to come. So your first time around for the exercises that we do, you won't know what we're doing but you just try your best. Then the third, second, third, and fourth round, you know what you're doing. All right, down to plank and downward dog. Stretch the shoulders, then tighten the core, feel those shoulder blades pull apart, then stretch. All right, getting ready for your first one. Go on down into a squat and lift overhead, overhead. If you want to add to this and make it a little harder, you can use weights. Notice my overhead is not straight over my head. It's a little in front of me, and I'm holding this squat. You could also use a TheraBand if you wanted to. I'll show you that version. Keep going, holding your squat. It can be a narrow squat, pushing up. A TheraBand or a tubing, holding that squat. We're almost done with this one. Good, bend on over, give it a little stretch, and begin your row. Squeeze one arm back and pull with the other. This is no weights, right? I'm doing this with no weights. You can also grab your weights. One arm pulls back, shoulder blade squeezed, other keeps pulling. Belly buttons pulled in nice and tight. We're almost there, then we're going to swap sides and swap sides. So one pulls back, squeeze there, and the other pulls and is active. So only one arm is active. Again, this can be done with nothing. One arm pulls back and the other just squeezes. It can also be done with the band. If you want to do a little more with that band, you can split the squat. That way you can get a little more pull. 
Belly button's pulled in. You're on that second arm. Your back should feel nice and warm now. All right, give it a little rest. You're gonna go down to the floor, plank. Now there's gonna be a few variables for this one. You can simply hold your plank for the 45 seconds, or you can hold it for five, pulse for five, hold it for five again, okay? Another third variant that makes it a little harder, when I do my hold after my pulses, I'll do it halfway down. Two, three, four, five, and then I'll hold down here. And pulse, one, two, three, four, five, and hold either at the top, that would be say a level two, down in the bottom would be a level three. You're almost done. All right, hop on up. This one we're gonna go down to the ground and up to the ceiling. Down to the ground and up to the ceiling. A few variants on this will be hopping, right? So I go down, hop up. Down, hop up. Okay, another variant is going down to one foot, hop up. You might choose five on one side. That way you're hopping on one foot. Good, other side. If you can't quite touch the ground, that's okay. Just getting your hands down low, bending your knees. Or bilateral. And again, you don't have to hop, reach up. Okay, down into your squat, nice and low. Okay, you're gonna hop with your feet. So this might be one heel up and then the other, or it might be a hop. Two, three, four, Five, then come on up. Good, and you're gonna either reach for the sky. One, two, three, four, five, or you could have hopped that. Down low, again, one version is heel up, heel up, heel up, heel up, the other version is hopping. Four, five, next version is either hopping or reaching. One, two, three, four, five, and down low again. We're almost done. Good, lay on your back. Crisscross. Okay, knees are up, crisscross. Belly button's pulled in. You can bury this. You can lay your head down, just tightening your abs and do legs only. You can also lift up and stretch it low. All right, so you have a few variants, kind of general and easy, a little bit easier, just tightening my abs and doing legs only, or down low. This is your last one. Hop up, let's do round one again. You're down, you're lifting overhead. Okay, keep going, you can do it with no weights, right, no weights, or you can lift those weights overhead. Belly button's pulled in. Now a little bit easier squat might have been a wide squat here, right? A little harder squat would be narrow. You choose what you want. Turning my computer so it still counts for me. There we go. All right, give it a little stretch. Stretch out those hamstrings and go into your row. Cocking one arm back, rowing with the other. So one version is no weights, right? Just holding one back, really squeezing that shoulder blade. Squeeze, squeeze. Another version might be if this is out in front and I'm rowing with one hand, squeezing with the other. Now you usually need quite a lot of weight to really feel the strengthening of this, but we're doing a metabolic workout, so it's better just to squeeze your muscles, all of them, as much as you can, rather than having a very heavy weight. Squeeze all those muscles, tighten your core, tighten your legs. Almost done. Gonna swap sides, swap sides, other foot. Sorry, other hand. Squeezing back, rowing with the other. Good. 
Good, so tightening your core all the time, squeezing the shoulder blades back. Make sure you're not creeping up near your neck. The pull will be nice and low, right under your armpits. That sustained squat should be burning your legs pretty soon. Keep going. All right, next one's going to be the plank. Go onto your plank. Again, remember your plank can be here just holding it. It can even be knees down. You can also do your pulse. Three, four, five, and either hold at the top for a bit easier, hold at the bottom for harder, and five pulses. Good, so your plank can be whatever it needs to be. It could be on your knees. You can also change halfway through. It could be on your toes. We're almost done. Back up, reach for the ground and reach for the sky. Reach for the ground, reach for the sky. All right, remember these ones are trying to get your metabolism up and going. We're only gonna do 15 minutes. So I want you to work as hard as you feel like you can, knowing we have two more rounds. Remember this one could also be hop up. If you really wanted to add to this, you could even do your burpee. You would stop here, go back, push up, come back in, and top. Right? All right, reach and hop. I'm going straight to the sideways line. You remember, you could also do another variant. You don't have to hop. Reach, lift. Try to get to the ground by bending your knees and your hips rather than your back. Changing sides. Good, we're almost there. Great, lay down on your back, crisscross. So the variants are pretty hard where you take it nice and low, really twist, not pulling your neck with your hands, but just supporting your head. You can put it a little higher, that's a little easier. Or you could rest your upper half and do legs only. Still contract your core though, even if your head is on the floor. Imagine you're almost lifting up Good, that's two, you're halfway done. Back to the beginning, overhead press, right? Narrow knees are gonna be a little harder in this overhead press. Belly button's pulled in and I'm looking straight ahead. Try not to look down, it's just gonna make it harder. Try to look up. You can always make this less of a knee bend or deeper. You can make that wider knees to make it easier or narrow. Whew, I'm sweating up a storm. Hope you are too. Almost done with this one. And into your row. So we usually stretch a little moment. Go into your row. Cock one arm back and pull with the other. Good, so it's really a squeezing of your muscles. It's not so heavy, I only have little four pound weights here. It's more squeezing those shoulder blades back, lengthening your neck. Make sure you're not creeping up near your neck. Belly button's pulled in. The deeper you squat, the harder. The more burn you're gonna get on your quads, the more your metabolism's gonna kick in. Burn off everything for the next day. 
If you need to rest, you rest. Good, that's our countdown. We're almost ready to the other side. Squeeze one back and pull. Anytime your lower back starts to hurt, you can always lift a little higher. You can put your hand down, but try to tense every muscle you've got. That's the point, not lifting heavy weights, but tensing all of your muscles so everything will burn. Woo, almost done, you feeling those legs? We're gonna go to the plank. I'm gonna check, make sure my computer's still ticking. Yes, three, two, one, into your plank. Remember, your plank can be anything. Just plank, or you can hold halfway down. If my elbows are narrow to my body, this will be harder. If I take my elbows wide, this will be easier. So go ahead and choose what you want. Pulse in if you can. And holding, either high, or holding low, and pulsing. Woo. And pulsing, almost done. All right, this is the one where you reach down and up. So this is your modified burpee. If you're feeling good, go ahead and try a burpee. I reach down, I hop back, push up, hop forward, reach up or hop. Reach up or hop. You can also step back. And you can also go with the original version that I showed you, just to make it a little bit easier. You're still getting your heart rate up by reaching low, reaching overhead. Shoulder blades back. 
Whew. This is our last round, so feel free to give it as much as you've got. We got five seconds left here. Three, two, one. Change. Other arm squeezes back. Other arm pulls. Just getting my hair out. Anytime you need a rest, you take one. The way the metabolic workout is best is if you really push yourself to the point, not pain, but where you're tired and you need a rest. You take a little rest and then you hop back in. It's kind of like filling up your glass and having a little water come out the top and then pouring it out. Go back again, fill it up. <laughs> squeeze those shoulders back, tighten your core. Usually when you squeeze your shoulder blades back, your belly wants to stick out. In this position, you gotta really tighten your core to counter that. All right, plank. Find your plank. Remember, this is the last one, so you might choose your hardest version, or if you're all worn out, just put your knees down. And holding. And pulsing. And holding. And pulsing. And pulsing. Woo! Back up you go. Reach for the ground. Put it up. This is the most basic level. Reaching, bending my knees, bending my hips nice and wide. Right? If you want to go at a harder level, down, hop back. Push up, hop in, jump. Burpees. Good, modified burpees might be on a chair, stepping back, pushing up, stepping forward, reaching up. Perfectly fine, just do it to the best of your ability, using as many muscles as possible. Almost done here. Woo, all right, to the sides. Grab something on the side, up. You can do it nice and basic like this, or you can hop. Hop. Let's do two more here. Swap to the other side. Try not to bend your back. I know your legs are tired, your buttocks are tired. We're almost to our last exercise, the crisscross. All right, down to crisscross. Last one, give it all you got. That doesn't necessarily mean fast. That just means tighten everything you can. You're tired, so your body will try to relax. Don't let it, you only got 30 seconds left. Tighten your core, tilt your pubis bone toward that ceiling. We're almost there. Push a little harder, tighten your core a little more. Pull that belly button into your spine. Three, two, one, you're done. Come on up. Let's just march it out for a little bit. If you want, you can go take a walk outside. I'm gonna be stopping the video and ask you to then follow up with a 30 minute mat exercise. I have a beginner mat and a powerhouse mat program on YouTube video. So I'd suggest you take this metabolic burn that you've got going, use it in your core, and then finish your day. All right, thank you for joining me. That was hot and sweaty. <laughs>